everyone. I hope you're well. Um, I thought I'd do this quick recording just to give you an idea um, of what's happening uh, specifically for those of you who are final year or intermediate year students and therefore will need to um, take part in the exam session that we're running online in weeks three and four. So what I'm going to do first of all is just show you my screen and walk you through um, a practice that I've set up within our Moodle course. We are within uh, our Moodle course and I'm just going to jump into the current week. So let's shoot down here to, can you believe we're already here? Okay. So as you've already seen, I hope, because you've been working in the course this week, um, there's lots of activities going on here for you to practice with, including some practice quizzes and reading quizzes, which were really all about just getting your skills back up to um, where they were when I last saw you, which seems like a long time ago now. It includes some writing tasks and preparation. Please remember, we're not assessing anything that we weren't preparing to assess anyway. So the um, assessment that you're going to be doing for both the reading, writing and speaking is at the same level as we would expect uh, for you if you were doing this on campus. But the modality is slightly different, obviously, at a distance. So um, we've had to rethink the nature of the assessment. So what we've done with both the reading and the writing is combined reading skills and writing skills into one assessment. So under the old scheme, you would have had two separate one hour assessments for reading and writing. Clearly, when we're doing this at a distance, you have access to more resources um, and you have a longer period of time during which you can access the paper. So what you will see today is that I've opened um, a reading and writing assessment practice or mock paper. Um, and I've made that available so that it's available actually for a whole week. Um, what I would suggest is that you try and do it over a 24 hour period, because when you do the final assessment, you will have a 24 hour period in which to um, get hold of the assessment and then sub submit your assignment. So that will be a set 24 hour period and the timetable has already been published for that um, up on the Language Centre web page. So let's just have a look at this assessment. You've used Moodle assignments before, so you know really what they look like. Essentially, you can see here, so this is the one difference from uh, what I've done in the past. You can see here that uh, I've added a PDF, a document. Now, I'm going to ask you to download that document and we'll have a little look at it together now. So reading and writing drawn together. So what you're used to seeing is a sort of framing of the writing assessment. And here we're doing reading and writing together. So you can see um, a framing of the task here. You're being asked to write 250 words. You have to give these details, as you can see. And in order to inform what you're going to write, we've provided you with some reading. So read the task carefully. Understand that this is an imagined situation. You've got to think your, your way into this situation. And you've got to write something based on the um, information you're given. So the first lot of information here are two profiles, the profiles for these imaginary friends you now have. Um, now, these are the friends in this case that um, you're told um, are looking for accommodation and you're going to be sharing accommodation with them. If I scroll further down, you can see that this is where you're looking for your accommodation. And we've done this in the style of um, a, a website. So you can click on these links and go to the information to find out more. So we've provided a whole lot of information. You can scroll down and see all that information, but you can also jump into it using the links. And that includes, obviously, um, various apartments here 
and you've got a map to show you where they are within Grenoble. You've got information about your friends and their uh, particular um, interests. So you need to spend a little time just researching before you do the writing. So this is clearly quite different from a timed writing paper. You need to spend some time reading first. This is where your reading assessment fits in. So you would be doing this sort of in-depth reading um, in a reading exam. So in the reading phase, you collect all the information you need from the reading passages. In the writing phase, just as you would do in a writing assessment, if I come back to the uh, writing, you've then got 250 words to make sure you convey the information um, that is contained in that task set. OK, so you're combining both the reading and the writing. You have in the final exam, you'll have a 24 hour period in which to do the research and the reading, prepare yourself. And then, as we've talked about lots of times in the writing, show what you know. So you're going to write and go through exactly the same process as we talked about in class. Do a drafting process to think about how you show off what you know and you meet the requirements of the task. Clearly, you have access to plenty of resources um, online. You don't have the sort of pressure to keep everything in your head that you would have in um, a, um, a usual exam format but you do have a time pressure you have 24 hours in which to do this and do the best you can uh, once you've decided on your wonderful 250 word response plus or minus the 10 percent we've asked you by the way not to copy from the texts you could reuse individual words obviously but this should be 250 words of your own that show what you know OK, so that is set for you as a practice assignment. I'll come back just to remind you what it looked like. Um, and anybody can do it. You don't have to be a final year student or um, uh, somebody who has to take the exam this time. Anybody can do it. So if you just want a little bit of time to practice your French, do it. Get your French back up to speed again and submit it. I've set. Um, about a week on there so that this time or lunchtime next Friday I should be able to um, give those people who need feedback because they are doing exams um, the feedback that they need. So I hope that really helps and gives you an idea. I'm just going to come back into the course now because I want to remind you of course that um, there is also a speaking assessment and if I scroll down into um, next week's material, which has all been available for the last week as well. You'll see I've given you a, a speaking practice flip grid board. Now this is just, again, it's practice. In order to access this, you will need to use your um, Microsoft account. So you're at warwick.ac.uk account or log in with a Google account. Um, and once you log in, you're going to very quickly see that you've got some examples of speaking. Now, I have actually um, uh, been using this for a little while, so I have sh shared it several times. Some of you may have come across it before. Um, I'm just going to log through and make sure that you can see this. OK, so here you can see an oral assessment board. Uh, you can see that Antu has been busy making some responses already. Um, the idea of asking you to log in with your uh, university account is just so that it's clearer that actually it's um, Warwick students and that's only students in our group. To add a video is simple. You can listen to my recordings here with some oral questions to just uh, brush up a little bit. Um, and when you're ready, you can either reply to a question or a set of questions that are here. Um, or you can just add a video, record yourself shorter than five minutes. We don't want long videos, so a couple of minutes is enough. And I can give you spoken feedback as well. 
Okay, plenty of space here to practice. Just, you know, a couple of minutes is plenty of time just to record a little bit and remind yourself what I want you to do is to get back to where you were at the end of last term, despite everything. So let's, uh, let's push back uh, a little bit. I hope that gives you an idea of uh, what we're going to do. And I look forward to interacting with you um, through Moodle over the next couple of weeks. And obviously, do contact me if you have any queries or questions, let me know.